Eon wow. all over him. Pressing the Jeez. buttons. And he's going to get his rematch with Ned here, denying Midwest vs. Midwest Losers Finals. And it's going to be Eon going Sheik here now. I, we did see Eon Sheik, I think, against Charlie. Yes. Right? No, 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 that was Charlie Sheik. Oh, it's Charlie Sheik. Eon's going to be going to Sheik. Okay. Yes. How is they, that? How is his Sheik then? Because I've heard about it's, Charlie it's Sheik. It's great, man. They, they both have Sheiks. Like, the thing with Charlie and Eon is, like, they both have Sheiks. They both have Bayos. They both have Foxes. And they're all exceptionally, like, solid secondaries. So you'll see a lot of, like, phenomenal Sheik things. You won't notice, like, you'll think he's a Sheik man. And you'll find out, man. You'll watch, watch it. We'll have to see here because K9 did put on the, he put on the hurt in yes. game one on Ned. We'll have to see if Leon can pull off the same kind of shenanigans because you're going to need it to, to fool, new, fool Ned in neutral as often as you need to with, to kill him without gimps as Sheik. That's going to be hard. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. We saw the immediate switch to Mario last time this matchup was played, but that was it was more of like a, a weird game. Like, it was two very early kills. It doesn't look like Eon's going to be finding those kills this early, so he's got to play it more of an honest game. Fox player playing an honest game? Who would have thought? I'm not, I'm not going to comment on how honest Fox is or isn't, because both these characters on the screen are clearly just as honest. But we'll have to see here. Ned, he has a big lead, and that up air actually just going to be enough. Send in well. Eon straight to the skies. And the thing is, okay, so you don't you don't you don't watch Ned play as much as I do because he's you are, you are correct. Ned, the Ned's secret to success is holding that limit. He wants to hold that limit for as long as possible. To use these moves and keep on the pressure, but he overextends a bit, and that's gonna cost him his limit. Just as I started to talk about how long he wants to hold on to it for. Ooh, the immediate up airs from the ground. Ned catching Sheik. Sheik is the tall character that he can easily get away with something like that. Oh, uh, this forward throw on the taxi platform. Looking to catch the double jump with that up air. Yeah, he was hoping he'd get the DI in since he was so close to the, sta uh, the edge. But Ned didn't give it to him. And now it looks like Ned might even find himself a two-star. Yep, he's getting closer and closer as we watch this game unfold before our eyes. And oh, he was looking to... Maybe catch a roll on stage. Oh, just challenges him with a cross slash. Stealing the deal. Yeah, that's going to be it. Eon. Dropping that first game. I think we're going to see a switch back to Fox. You know, Fox did good. No, Fox, did Fox good is playing it. really, really well today. And yeah, I, I don't I don't think the Sheik stays very yeah. long. Yep, there's the Fox. Going, does he always go default color? Sorry? Does he always go default Fox? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And going to Battlefield. Battlefield Fox, very safe counter pick. Makes a lot of sense. Being able to get those platform juggles is where Fox always wants to be. Oh, yeah. But given the same thing to Cloud, we'll have to see who can play that platform juggle game a little bit better. Yeah, we're going to have to find out, man. But right now, Ned is putting on the heat with these up airs. Ooh, the dash attack extension on that top platform. And looking to snipe out, snipe out another one of those Firefoxes. <laughs> He had the conversion available, but Ned threw out the hitbox, completely stopping that fastball forward air. Shanana Bananigans. Yeah, staying alive is the name of the game here for Ned. And he's got that limit again. Just look at the way he's just going to try to safely apply pressure with these auto-canceled aerials while he has those limit movement speed buffs. That is how Ned likes to play Cloud. Yes, indeed. Looking for something. Oh, man, that was a scary situation. <laughs> Oh, good grab here coming out from Eon, catching him at that ledge. And the dash deck keeping Cloud honest a bit. That should be a punish, not going to kill on Battlefield, however. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that up air. Yeah, I like Eon. the idea of that cross slash, though. I really did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if he caught him, would have done hard. Yeah, that's what happens when you forward beat just a little bit too much against these top players. They're going to realize your habits, and they're going to punish you for it every single time. You saw the way Ned was punishing Monkey Flip, and Monkey Flip is one of those really notoriously hard to punish movement options unless you're like super comfortable in like the animation oh, yeah. and how it works and reacting to it. Fire, or sorry, uh, Fox Illusion is even easier to punish. Yes, it is, and Ned clearly has the experience. Ooh, All right, he needs to find this first dog cloud with rage and limit break. It's oh. so. Oh, okay. He yeah. just sniffed out that low recovery and found the back air that he needed. Clearing that rage is, or I'm sorry, clearing that limit is just as important as clearing the rage. Oh, and getting the blade beam there on the edge. He's gonna just keep Fox in pressure. And look at that. 
Oh, he's got all sorts of reads. And whoa, the oh second up air. My. Got him. Well, Ned with a very, very confident game number two. Yeah, he looks good. A he, second he knows the two matchup, man. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I bet we're gonna see the veil. I bet we're gonna see, yeah, oh yeah. Look, he's looking at her. Yeah, this is a, this this can be a very bad matchup for Cloud if he lets Bayonetta get going. If I was Bayonetta... talking to Bayonetta about it because he ended up playing uh, our other top, our top Bayonetta player, Tyroy, at Midwest Mayhem 7. He played him in winter semifinals. Tyroy got the upset on Ally 3-1 at that tournament. Oh man. In winter side. And Ned went Cloud the whole way, and I was like, why didn't you go another character? And he said, well, when Cloud's in neutral, he actually just moves faster than Bayonetta and can just run a, run circles around her. But you have to stay in neutral or at advantage. Like, at disadvantage, Cloud is just in trouble. I can absolutely agree with that. All right now, Ned is holding this stage, and he's looking good while he does it. Yeah, and I actually think Cloud has, like, really good stage control on Battlefield because that neutral air covers so much space. You see him using it there. It covers, like, all platforms at once. And it's just well, he has what so it feels many like anyway. Yeah, exactly. And he has, like, so many movement options on Battlefield, different ways to land, different ways to, like, get back to the stage. So you can see him doing it now, always using those platforms to his advantage. And he's always mixing up these, uh, these Tomahawk short hops along with throwing out aerials that are safe. And so there's no real way to know when he's going to pull the trigger. It's keeping Eon off balance. Exactly. And Eon... Oh, Look but the witch time no. doesn't come out fast enough. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I, I guess I guess he forgot that he used witch time already, so that was a shortened witch time. Did not have the entire length to charge that up smash. And Eon not going to pressure a low recovery from Cloud. That's kind of where Bandana needs to get her mileage. Just those drop zone neutral airs. They are so effective against Cloud. Oh, yes. You better believe it. But he'll sweet spot that ledge. No witch time going to come out. And the up air, keeping him honest. That full hop gonna get eaten up, and that is Ned looking to get a 3-0 here to get his rematch with K9. Yeah, man, Ned is so good at catch. Oh, he's dead. That boy dead. That boy dead as hell. It looked like his SDI was crossed up a bit. Like that, the way that second witch twist knocked him away. It like only hit him with like two or three hits, but it was perfectly in line for that neutral air to happen. Uh, there, happened again, actually. Yeah, Ned's trying some kind of SDI here against the Eon. I'll have to ask him what it is. And there he falls out of that one. All right, Eon getting something started, man. Good punish there with the reverse cross slash. Sometimes that's your one of your best punishes as Cloud when someone tries to cross you up within a hit, like dash attack or something like that, because it, it just grants you an easy access to pivot. Exactly. But like you said, man, he loves to hold on to that limit break. I don't think he's gone. He's only gone for one limit break cost last this entire set. So I think he's trying to make Eon believe he's not going to pull the trigger. And once he has that thought, that's when he does. Oh, oh he thought he had the punish on those bat with Vins. And that's not going to be enough here on Battlefield. That's Eon living. Yeah, not quite. This is last hit situation. Ned might just take it 3-0 over, three -oh over Eon. Terrible TI sending him all the way across the stage. And that is going to be it. Ned, I think I said Neo. Ned, <laughs> not Neo. Ned is going to take that 3-0 -oh over Eon. But phenomenal stuff to that, to that poor little fox, man. Eon played so well today. We're going to have to see if Ned is the Midwest's chosen one at this Falcon Punch Friday. He has one more shot at yes, taking out Kane.